Thanks for tuning in. My name is G.I. Sanders. I am the owner of North Texas Vinyl or NTX Vinyl. Um, this is a YouTube series I like to call Talking About Records. I'm not going to preach at you this time. I'm not going to give you necessarily any opinions on the industry um, what I am, or any tips and tricks. What I am going to do is I'm just going to talk about records. And in this case, I'm going to talk about one of my favorite bands um, that features one of in my opinion, the greatest voices of uh, our generation in rock and roll. That is Soundgarden, and that is Chris Cornell. I am a huge fan. I have seen the band. Um, I saw the band many, many times um, across the different eras uh, back in the early days, um, and also through the times when they reunited. Um, I've seen Chris Cornell a number of times solo. I'm not going to necessarily go into his solo material, but I am going to go through everything in my Soundgarden collection, which is right here. Um, I'm sure there are um, LPs that I'm missing, but this is what I've got um, and I'm excited to show it to you. So I'm going to start hopefully at the beginning. I, I will warn you, I haven't even gone through these. It's been a while, so this is going to be uh, fun for me just to go back through these. I'm sure there's some that I've forgotten about and uh, we'll kind of rediscover with you. So let's start at the beginning. If you're going to start with Soundgarden, uh, this is Flower. You're going to start with Flower. So this um, was originally came out in 1989, uh, one of their first releases ever. Uh, this features the title track as well as Head Injury and Three Toy Box. And I think probably one of the best promo photos ever. You've got Chris Cornell in his fishnet short sleeve shirt. Obviously you've got original Beso, original um, bassist hero, um, Yamamoto before Ben Shepard joined. Uh, so I love this cover. Uh, three track, obviously um, not a full length. Uh, early, early release from Soundgarden back in 1989, pre, so that's pre, never mind, pre 10, pre, you know, all that stuff. Um, next up, Ultra Mega OK. This is a really great release, one of their first uh, full lengths. Uh, this is 88, so this, can, this actually predates Flower, and I would say if you're gonna go um, key tracks, um, you're gonna get All Your Lies. Obviously, this is where Flower came from. I gotta flip it upside down, see what else is on here. Incessant Mace, um, just a great track. Again, early, early alternative rock, early, early grunge, if you wanna call it that. Um, a really great album uh, as far as early Soundgarden is concerned. Now they're starting to get serious. So now you've got Screaming Life and Fop. So this was two, uh, two EPs, I believe, that were combined. Most notably, you've got Hunted Down, just an incredible track that um, that Soundgarden played all the way till the end. Uh, that was one that stayed in uh, stayed in rotation for them from a live standpoint. Also, nothing to say. Produced by the great Jack and Dino, who um, who had a hand in a ton of the early Soundgarden releases um, and great photography. I forget the name of the photographer's name. He's a famous photographer that shot all this stuff in the early days too, along with all the other early Seattle uh, Seattle bands. So um, this is a great great full length of Soundgarden. Um, that's kind of to me when they start to really, really hit their stride. And then you've got their major label debut. So let me go with uh, this one first. So this is an original pressing of uh, Loud Love, Louder Than Love, which contains the track Loud Love, uh, Ugly Truth, Hands All Over, Gun. Gun is an amazing song. Uh, Get on the Snake, Full on Kevin's Mom. The entire track list, Big Dumb Sex is on here. The entire track list is great. This is when I discovered Soundgarden. So everything prior to this, I hadn't heard right in between um, Louder Than Love and Bad Motor Finger is when Soundgarden started, uh, at least from my point of view, from what I remember, started getting play on MTV on 120 Minutes and Alternative Nation and things like that on MTV. And that's when I was exposed to them. So again, this came out in 89 um, and uh, was my introduction when I heard these songs. Um, kind of right before Bad Motor Finger came out is when I got introduced and was just immediately, immediately uh, turned on to the band. This is a more recent reissue. So this is a colored uh, limited edition vinyl that they, uh, they re-released the entire catalog, almost the entire catalog, I believe, um, back in like 2016, yeah, 2016. So this is a really nice press that's on kind of orange translucent vinyl. Um, sounds really good. I, I, I've, had, I've, I've heard and read complaints about these reissues that came out in 2016 
from a quality perspective and sound perspective, but I've never had any complaints with them. So um, love, 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 louder than love. Speaking of, here is the special edition four track EP of Loud Love. This is a uh, etched di disc, features new tracks, Fresh Deadly Roses, and exclusive dub version of Big, Big Dumb Sex. So let's check it out. Check out this etching. So this is a, oh, this is a top loader, so I can leave it in there. Uh, oh, let's look at the back first. But this has got Loud Love, Get On The Snake, Big Dumb Sex, and Fresh Deadly Roses. Uh, this is 1990, so this is obviously a promotional single. Um, oh, that's right, it's got the, uh, the etching is of Kim Thale on the back, which is not something you see all that often in etching of a member. Uh, you can see it's got the, they must have really loved the uh, promotional photo on the front and thought it was hilarious, so they stuck to Kim on the disc. Um, Soundgarden is the, has always been perceived as kind of a dark, uh, gloomy, you know, loud rock band, but they're actually really funny dudes if you look at interviews and things like that. Here's another classic promo photo. This is the single for Hands, uh, Hands All Over, again off of Loud Love, Louder Than Love. Um, this has got uh, Come Together, their cover of the Beatles on this, which is awesome. Um, this is a gold stamp promo, uh, also came out 89. Uh, I don't believe this is a colored vinyl or anything like that. Now black vinyl um, out on the, uh, the A&M label. So promo, promo single, amazing that they're releasing these 12 inch promo singles still in 89.90. It just shows you where we were at. Then you get to the album, in my opinion, where they really broke. So. Louder Than Love got them some great exposure. They were touring internationally. They were uh, already opening for a bunch of big hair metal bands and, and got the GNN, GNR tour on this one. So Bad Motor Finger came out in uh, 91, if I'm not mistaken. Um, let's see if I can find a year. Yeah, 91. This is an original pressing, uh, original US pressing. Um, you can see the uh, original price sticker on it was $8.98. I assure you, I did not pay $8.98. This isn't one of the ones, I do have a lot that I bought um, when they were released, but this one I ended up getting years and years later. Bad Motor Finger, uh, you know, Jesus Christ Pose, Rusty Cage, um, just so many incredible singles, Outshined, um, and then you've got tracks like uh, Searching With My Good Eye Closed and uh, Slaves and Bulldozers, again, just really set them up from a career perspective um, and launched them into the mainstream along with Pearl Jam and Nirvana and Alice in Chains and so many others. Uh, Bad Motor Finger was really the record that did it. This is a Korean pressing, original 1991 Korean pressing, um, which is signified by the, the Korean uh, verbiage in the corner there. I don't even know what that says. Maybe someone can tell me. Maybe it says uh, limited edition. I don't know. Um, pretty cool uh, to have the Korean kind of font and uh, text all over this. Um, not as uh, necessarily sought after as the original US pressing, as you'd expect since the band is from the US, but still really cool to have another original version of that. Um, let's see what else we got. Here is the so just like I mentioned, the Louder Than Love um, 2016 repress. This is the uh, lenticular cover, which is, uh, if you can see it, I don't know, of Bad Motor Finger that is on colored vinyl. Um, I've still got this one in shrink wrap, so it's a little tricky to get out. This is um, on a red and black marble on record one, and I believe record two is like a purple or something. Yeah, uh, it's kind of, a, kind of probably just gonna look black to you, but it does have a little bit of color in there. Um, it's got some red and blue in that, uh, that purple swirl. So really awesome reissued package on two records, obviously. So split across two, two records. Uh, so that means there's probably a, a etching on here. Let's see. Um, yeah. So you've got the bad motor finger etching and the bad motor finger logo on etched on the back. You gotta love that. Really, really cool. Um, that is a logo that, um, I absolutely love. Let me get this back in here. So a couple copies of Bad Motor Finger, which uh, for me is a no-brainer because it's one of those albums again. Like I said, I, I, I kind of known of the band and heard a little bit of Louder Than Love that when Bad Motor Finger dropped and it was all over, over MTV, Outshined was the first big single. And man, it just made quite the impression on me. Speaking of, there's Outshined. This is the 12-inch single. This has got 
Uh, obviously, it's got an edited version of the, the title track. I can't give you anything. Homicidal Suicide, and then it's got the original LP version. This is uh, this is just a black vinyl single. Uh, again, this is a European single. Almost all of this, the twelve inch singles come from Europe. You rarely see them in the U.S. Um, all right. Speaking of, this is let's see which one I got here. So here is my Jesus Christ pose. This is limited edition four track poster bag single. Um, it's got a uh, cool label, the red A&M, and let's see what the poster bag is. So you've got the cover, um, you've got the track list on the back, which is uh, title track, Stray Cat Blues, Into the Void, and Somewhere. And the holdout is pretty sweet, and this is in really good shape, so I'm glad to have this poster bag, and then you've got the band, uh, the band photos on the back. <laughs> so. They don't make them like this anymore very much. You don't see very many poster bag 12 inch singles. In fact, uh, at least not in the rock genre, maybe in other genres, but I love that, uh, love that Jesus Christ pose. Here is an import version of that single, which is cool because it's on the red vinyl. Um, same track listing, no poster bag, but a colored vinyl version, uh, unofficial import of the Jesus Christ pose single. Next up, Rusty Cage. So this has got two versions of Rusty Cage, the LP version as well as the edit. You've got Girl You Want, um, a Devo cover, Show Me, and then you've also got Into the Void on this one. That's Black Vinyl, again, UK single, um, promotional use only, not for sale. Rusty Cage, is there a better guitar riff? I don't think so. All right, so now we're gonna get into, let me reorganize these just a little bit. Uh, the you know, if, if Bad Motor Finger wasn't the breakthrough through and wasn't the big one, this was. So Super Unknown is when, you know, really hit the mainstream, 1994. Um, obviously, they were already hugely popular, popular bands. So this was very, very, um, there was a lot of hype building up to this record, and man, did it deliver. Um, this is an original version on uh, orange translucent double vinyl. Um, an absolutely incredible pressing, an incredible album. These are pretty rare to come by. Um, these are uh, gatefold uh, with artwork, but if you're familiar with the band, you know you know Black Hole Sun is really what broke them, um, as well as Fell on Black Days, um, Spoon Man. So you just had huge, huge radio singles, Super Unknown, the title track was released as a single too, The Day I Tried to Live. It was just all across the board, um, uh, a massive moment for the band. Here's another version. This one's got the hype sticker, uh, features the bonus track, She Likes Surprises. This, I believe, is the blue version. So you've got the blue translucent. So this original pressing of Super Unknown came in three different variants. Orange that I just showed you, the blue that I'm holding, and it also came in a clear vinyl. I don't have the clear yet, but that is on my list. Uh, the clear seems to be a little bit more elusive than the other two, but either way, they're all um, incredible. Here is the reissue. I believe this is, uh, this isn't the colored vinyl, but this is a black vinyl reissue, if I'm not mistaken. Let's see, um, honestly, I'm not sure. Yeah, this is the black vinyl version of the 2000. I wanna say this is a 2016 reissue as well. Uh, 2014, sorry. So obviously you can see it's got um, revised artwork. So for whatever reason, they revised the artwork just slightly and they put that circular shape and they got rid of the uh, kind of the white grungy uh, texture at the bottom. Not really sure why they did that. Maybe just to differentiate the pressings. A lot of times that's what uh, uh, artists and labels will do. So that way the original pressing is more unique. So as you can see, completely different gatefold art, completely different back art, which is the reason why, one of the reasons why I, I like to grab the different versions because it's got the different artwork in addition to uh, you know any remastering or uh, differentiation of the actual audio content. All right, so now some singles. So Spoon Man, this is a clear vinyl single that contains Cold Bitch and Exit Stonehenge. I like the hype sticker because it's actually got some dates from their European tour. Um, really, really cool single. This version has some writing on the back from a DJ is what it looks like. It's got... Uh, Designating that this side A is the is the, the A A yeah it's good. It says Spoon Man 45 speed which tells them they're gonna make sure and play it at 45. Um, let's see next up I've got the day I tried to live this also this is limited edition with free super unknown stencil this is really cool um, let's check this out 
once again, they just don't make them like this. So black vinyl, um, you've got obviously single sided and then you've got one more time around might do it. So you've got the lyric etching on one side and then if you can find it with the stencil, which I obviously have not poked out, uh, really, really cool. So you could poke that out and spray paint your town if you really, really wanted to. Um, haven't seen a lot of stencils added into record packaging in recent years. <laughs> Pretty cool though, um, especially to find one with that, uh, with that still in there. So let's see what else we got in regards to Super Unknown. Oh yes, the 10 inch single. So this has got Spoon Man, Day I Tried to Live, Black Old Sun, My Wave, and Fell on Black Days. You've got the mini artwork of all of the CD singles that came back in the day. Obviously I showed you a couple of the vinyl. Um, and then these are all 10 inch singles with reimagined artwork all just really 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 cool this was a record store day uh exclusive in 2014 so same year as that initial uh super unknown repress is when the 10 inch single box set came out and this has got a ton of acoustic it's got acoustic version live remixes all kinds of cool stuff um, a lot of those tracks I already named um, but essentially they just took the CD singles, which the CD singles were really popular uh, in Europe back in the day, and this is the first time, and I think the only place you can get them all in one box set on the 10 inch vinyl. All right, making our way through. Next up, the breakup record. Down on the upside, very underrated in my opinion. It doesn't get talked a lot about, talked a lot about, but you know, you're following up Bad Motorfinger and Super Unknown, so it's gonna be really tough. But in my opinion, down on the upside really delivered. It's got a real punk punk rock vibe on a lot of the songs. And it also had a, just some massive singles, Blow Up the Outside World and Burden in My Hand were both big singles and big uh, big videos that got a ton of play. So I love Down the Upside. Here is the, uh, the colored version, um, the 2016, I believe. Yeah, this is on an opaque, kind of swirlish. Um, it's got two colors. It's got that orange, which matches the cover, and then an actually a really unique choice, kind of a purple and white swirl vinyl. Um, so I love the uh, the colored version of that one as well. I saw Soundgarden uh, on this tour uh, when they were touring uh, one of the last Lollapaloozas of that era with Soundgarden and Metallica headlining. I, I failed to mention other shows on Sound on the uh, on the Super Unknown tour. I saw them on that uh, on in, uh, at the Fair Park Coliseum in Dallas. The Reverend Horton Heat opened. That was at '94. All right, now we're gonna get into some. Uh, a few oddities before the band picks back up. This is live on I-5. This is the live release that came out, uh, let's see, it looks like 2011. Black vinyl, um, really cool art that ties into, uh, you know, the super unknown vibe in my opinion, and just an incredible, uh, incredible track list, which is cold from a variety of shows. Looks like mostly on the West Coast. So I see Del Mar, Seattle, Oakland, um, Vancouver, so all stuff from the Super Unknown tour. Um, really, really cool um, live set that's never been repressed, so pretty hard to come by. All right, Telephantasm. This is a pretty rare bird as well. This is a B-Sides collection, and the artwork on this is just phenomenal. It's a triple gatefold. Um, can't really say enough about how cool this one is. I love the art. I love the style of it. Um, this is, uh, I think, let's see, three LPs and kind of like the, the uh, 10 inch uh, Super Unknown box set. This has got all kinds of different versions, live versions, single versions, and then it's just kind of a best of as well. Um, so kind of a conglomeration of tracks that they put out um, during their hiatus when the band kind of took control of their catalog and started things back up. There was a big lull there after Down on the Upside when they split up. They split up at the end of the Down on the Upside tour. And then until they released Live on I-5 and Telephantism, it was uh, pretty uh, pretty slow going there content wise. Here's another uh, Record Store Day release. This is, uh, I won't try to pronounce the name, it's one of those palindromes where it's backwards. Um, but it is on a dark purple vinyl, you got the translucent purple, I don't know if you can see that, it's really cool. And this features uh, another another uh, another uh, LP with Into the Void, Girl You Want, Stray Cat Blues, and then you got She's a Politician and Slaves and Bulldozers Live. So again, this is Record Store Day, I wanna say 2015 or something like 2016 Record Store Day release. 
from Soundgarden. Uh, again, another kind of B-sides compilation slash EP. All right, so then the band started to reform, and then you've got King Animal. Um, also underrated, some great tracks on this record. Um, you don't hear it talked about a lot. This was obviously after they reformed uh, and put this out in 2012. Uh, again, so they put this out and then they started kind of going back through the catalog. My favorite tracks off this are gonna be uh, By Crooked Steps is amazing. Um, I really like Rowing, the last track. Tari is great. Uh, Blood on the Valley Floor. If you've not heard this record, you need to give it a chance. This is Soundgarden. It sounds exactly like you would think a follow-up to Down on the Upside Sounds, even though it came years, years later. They just did an incredible job with it. So if you're not, not familiar with King Animal, get familiar. It's worth it, I promise. Um, it's not a reunion record for the sake of getting together. They took many years to write it, and you can tell. This is the 2016 uh, color vinyl reissue of King Animal. This has got a uh, white and a cream colored uh, vinyl. Really, really like the colored ones, which is why I collect them in addition to the originals. So that's another version of King Animal to look for if you're into that. What else we got here? All right, so now we got some unofficial stuff, a couple unofficials and bootlegs. Here is In and Out of the Cage, the 90s radio broadcast. This, I believe, is on, yeah, this is on a, like a black and red splatter double LP. This is an unofficial bootleg, um, and this has got radio broadcasts, and it's got everything from early stuff like Gun and Ugly Truth up through, um, mostly through the uh, Bad Motor Finger era, so really, really cool. Um, live bootleg compilation. Here is another one, live at the Palladium in Hollywood. This is a black vinyl, I believe. Um, 2017 when this one was released mostly live tracks and uh from the bad motor finger era again that's a cool one then we've got the a sides compilation so let's see i've got an original this was not released on vinyl until record store day again i believe 2018 um so i've got two versions which tells me it's probably a black version yeah here's the black version this is all of their singles combined onto an album. So a lot of songs I've got, everything from Nothing to Say all the way through Bleed Together, which was the um, unreleased track that they put out um, only on the A-Sides compilation. And then, if I'm correct, this is going to be like a green translucent version. Yep. Oh, that's cool. Green translucent kind of uh, marble splatter. I haven't seen one like that in a while. It's really cool. This one's got a little bit of white in it. So, A Sides is an awesome compilation. Um, came out on CD as their greatest hits um, not long after they broke up, probably 97, 96, something like that. Um, I have to double check the year, but it was their first kind of hits compilation. Last but not least, I've got another uh, unofficial kind of live set from June 22nd, 92 at Lollapalooza. This is Gun, Jesus Christ Post, Outshined with Better, Big Gun Sex, Rusty Cage, Ugly Truth, Slays and Bulldozers, and Search It With My Good Eye Clothes. Uh, this is from an FM broadcast um, outside of Seattle in 92. It's a really cool little stuff. Uh, let's see, a couple more. I've got one box set. This is the Live From The Artist Den box set that came out in 2019. Um, at the. This was performed live at the Wiltern in um, Los Angeles, which I've been to to see a show. I was not at this show, which I would have been. And it's got some of the coolest colored vinyl. You will see they did an incredible job on the artwork. Again, you can't not appreciate Soundgarden for what they put into their art. Not only the music, but also the artwork. I mean, look at these colored vinyl editions. They're just absolutely beautiful. Uh, the packaging and the artwork, every detail is absolutely cared for and that's one more reason to love this band so live at the artist Den is awesome they, there's also a black vinyl version of this um, that you can still grab it's still in print the colored version colored vinyl version is a little harder to find um, so that is my collection of Soundgarden LPs except for one very last but not least this is my original copy of Super Unknown which I have had since it came out in 1996 the other orange one which i got is my play copy i've got more recently this is a version i've had since it was released um, i was lucky enough to meet the man 
um, when he was on a solo tour. I got Chris to actually sign the record itself. I thought it would make a really cool display um, to actually have him sign sign the vinyl rather than the cover. So I've got both records in here, and obviously it will, uh, will cherish this. It hangs on my wall in my record room, uh, which doubles as my office, and it will remain there and probably be buried with me. So. Um, it was an absolute pleasure to meet Chris. It was a meet and greet after solo show. We have a mutual friend who connected me with him and got me on the list and got to go backstage and meet him momentarily. He was an incredibly nice guy. Um, still heartbroken that he's gone um, and will forever miss him. But I'm glad I have that as a memento and I'm glad I'll have all these to keep the music alive. Um, so that's my Soundgarden collection. I've got some seven inch stuff as well, but I just wanted to go over the uh, the 12 inches and the box sets and stuff like that. Um, any questions, let me know. I'm, I'm, let me know which ones I'm missing. I'm sure there's some more 12 inch singles I'm missing. They're probably on my want list, but some of those things are hard to come by, but I think I have the majority. There's definitely some early stuff, some early sub pop stuff that's really rare that I don't have as well. Um, but yeah, uh, I, I love my Soundgarden records and I love that you've tuned in to check it out because that means you're obviously a fan as well. So. Um, check out the rest of the YouTube channel, follow NTX Vinyl on Facebook, Instagram. Um, really appreciate all the support and we'll see you next time on Talking About Records.